Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how I studied for the DAT in six weeks. I started in the middle of May, right after my finals, and then I took my test July 1st. A little bit about me is that I just finished my sophomore year of college and I took all my prereqs needed to take this exam. So I took Gen Chem, Bio, Ochem, and then I also took Anatomy and Physiology, which I really believed helped me for the Bio section. So I didn't have a job as I was studying, so I would treat it like my full-time job. So I studied from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day, and I maybe took like two days like off the whole six weeks, like for my sister's graduation and like some like important events. But other than that, I was like on the grind like every day. And then after the 4 p.m., I would like eat dinner, relax a little, and then I would go to the gym and then walk on the treadmill and studied on the treadmill. So what to expect for test day? So before even test day, my friends told me to go to the center and just like check it out, ask questions. And I second this. I also recommend this because it calms your nerves so much and you know where it is. Because for me, my place was like kind of in a mall, like it was in its own center. So you have to like find it inside the building. So like when on test day, I just knew where it was. I also talked to the front desk and she told me like what I could bring. Like for me, I could bring a plastic bottle with no label inside the test room. And you could ask for their grid paper to see what type of expo markers they use. So it was very helpful. And then on test day, I started at 8 a.m. And so I got there around like 7.20, I got through security. And then after you get through that, like you just start whenever. So I got to end earlier because of that. And I would just say going with confidence, you know from your practice test, you know what you're doing, like there's nothing you can do at that point, so just fake it till you make it. During my break time, I ate my snacks and I had my QR notes out for my equations, just looked over that. Um, here's a picture of what my setup looked like, I thought it was cute. But yeah, my place was so bougie, so I loved it, like everything was so nice there. So what did I use to study? I used DAT Booster as my main like platform, and then I also have this binder of all the printed out like notes on DAT Booster because I loved like looking at the paper version, but I also use my iPad and I'll show you guys what I do on that. I used their eight week plan and since I had to take it in six weeks, I doubled up on the days some days and yeah, I really loved printing it out and then I could like use my highlighters and check it off after I finished. I put the days on my Notion calendar as well so I could see what I was doing each day. Like you can see some days I did two days, some days I took a practice test to keep track of everything. Also a quick tour of my binder. So I printed all of the booster notes on here and I took notes on top of it as well. And so I have that for every like section and then I have my Gen Chem, like the formulas, which are very important. And then I have my Ochem reactions, like this helped me so much. If I had to do this whole thing again, something I would do differently is I would take practice tests earlier on in my schedule. And people have told me this, but I was stubborn and I was like, no, I have to learn everything before I take them. And that's reality is that you just can't learn everything it's it's not possible to there's so much stuff so just start earlier on and learn from the practice tests it will only make you better i'm about to show you the best way to maximize your practice test so i write the subsections so biology and then for each question i kind of just write the main concepts or the main ideas that i didn't really understand for example the answer was pistol but i also didn't know the other option choices so i wrote those down as well so i could remember those for later like for this, the highlighted number four was the right answer, but I had to write down all the other theories because you don't know what's going to show up on your exam. So here's Gen Chem, and I mostly just did the questions that I got wrong or I marked or I was unsure of. Here's Ochem, and yeah, I do this for every single section. Here's quantitative reasoning. I wrote down the question and then how I solved it, and yeah, I did this for every single practice test, so I have like 66 pages of just notes on the practice test, and I would look over this like the week before, before you take practice tests at night or in the morning. This will narrow down your high yield topics for the exam, and if you look at your corrections, you'll never make it again on the actual. Okay, let's get to the real deal, the breakdown. So I got a 22 AA, and I used DAT Booster. I feel like they have all the things that I need to be successful on this test. I really like their practice test. It was very representative on mine. So before I go into my actual test, I just want to say, like, don't compare yourself because every test is different. Like, you can't 
compare that because you could get different topics different type of questions like you might be super unlucky and not like know a topic but anyways just like don't compare yourself because it's not the same test for everyone okay so for bio i got 20 on the actual and a 20 average from all 10 practice tests on boosters so pretty similar uh, I think I got definitely some that were word for word on Booster and some of them were worded kind of weird but I just had to use my best guess and go with my gut for bio. I would recommend um, doing the practice test over and over again like the non-time section and definitely study less of the details and more of like the overall picture. So for Gen Chem, I got 23 on the actual and 22 on the practice average, so pretty similar there. I was a TA for Gen Chem, so I think that really helped me with my foundations. So I just had to like kind of look over the formulas, some basic concepts, and other than that, like I think on the actual, I had I didn't have a lot of math, which kind of sucks for me because I really like the math part of Gen Chem. Gen Chem, I got a 25 on the actual, which I was so surprised because I literally was so confused on that section, low key. But and then on my um, average for the practice test, I got 21. So like a little difference, but I would just recommend like kind of figuring out like the nucleophile versus electrophile because if you know like what will attack what, you can kind of figure out like the reaction and the reaction um, packet that they had was very helpful and knowing like the SN1, SN2, E2, and E1 and then the acid rules as well. So just like kind of knowing like the main things that you can get from the practice test, like those reactions, like I think that is all you need, honestly. On the actual PAT, I got 22, and on the practice average, I got 23. And so, yeah, pretty strong in PAT, I think. I really love PAT. Like, at the end, I was, like, so confident in it, and I think that really helped. So with practice and watching the booster videos to understand the rules, that really increased my score. And I felt like the actual was way easier than the practice test on booster. I started with anger ranking, so question 31, and I did it all until the end, and then I went back to number one. And I was very intimidated with the keyholes in the top front end, but at the end, I really got the hang of it, so it just takes practice every day, do the 15 questions of each. And this is very important, I saved so much time by drawing in my chart for the cube counting and then my 15 hole punch ones in the bio section the science section before so i could just go into it in the pt section the reading i got 18 on the actual and 22 average for my practice test and i think this is just something i got unlucky on i it's kind of like a blur to me right now but i got really long boring topic passages and so i was just kind of freaked out and i think like me freaking out about my science like tests before this like didn't help and so just learn from me that if you ever get thrown off by a question and the length or anything like if you get caught off guard just take a deep breath and make your best educated guess because that's all you can do. Booster had a lot of reading techniques that you can try out so I ended up using read the first paragraph and then read the last paragraph to get the main idea and then I use search and destroy to save time. Lastly, quantitative reasoning, I got a 24 on the actual and a 24 on my practice average so it's literally the same and for me for this section I feel like I've always been pretty good at math like in my ACT like in the past like standardized so I really think that I just had to look at the formulas and take the practice test and I would be set. And I think Booster did a really good with representing what was on the actual because if I didn't know like about the quantity A and B, the sufficient statements, I would have to spend a lot more time on the actual test trying to figure out what that even is. So I really thought it was representative on my actual. The number one advice I have for math is if you don't know it within like a couple seconds like you don't know how to figure it out just mark it and move on because you have such limited time with the amount of questions you have to answer on the math section and the last minute advice i would say don't change your answer unless you can name three reasons why because every time i choose like the other answer i end up getting it wrong so go with your gut and that's how i studied for the dat booster has all the practice tests and materials that you need for the dat so speaking of which i do have a discount code for booster if you would like to use it feel free to i hope you guys take care of yourself this process if you have any questions comment them down below and like and subscribe bye guys